In days gone by, we had to change our laws. Because of prohibition, many officers were out of work. As a result, we illegalized marijuana. It became a federal offense. And for those who were caught and imprisoned, they spent the majority of their lives behind bars, serving as free slavery, which was really what we designed jail for, was free economic workers. To continue on with this story, they knew that there was no harm that was brought to the human body as a result of marijuana. They knew this all along. Instead of legalizing it and using it as a product to benefit mankind, it was a simple way to enslave those people of using it and choosing it as a way of life. We need to change our laws. We need to change them right away so that they can and will become available to all of us over 21, those of us within medical need and even those with recreational desires. Because no one is truly overdosed ever on marijuana, it is become a substance by which criminal activity is brought about. It has mainlined our society into a mindset of the average person suffering from post-traumatic disorder, epilepsy, ADHD, and a wide variety of mental illnesses are no longer available to this substance that at one time did use it back in the 1930s. Now, of course, with some laws changing, it is still considered a federal offense, even though local laws and administrations may have, be cha may have changed their laws. This doesn't change the fact, though, that if you are, or will, go to a dispensary, you can, and possibly will do jail time, and become part of that prison system. If these changes are not made reticently available, I fear that our country will continue its free slave labor. Most people that are imprisoned as a result of a three-strike attempt at either the purchasing, using, or even caught with paraphernalia will do the rest of their lives in jail. This seems to me to be completely unfair, unreliable, and ridiculous. There is no reason for it. Once these laws are changed, and they should be changed, we will once again be a freer society by which we can make our own choices. More people are wrecked by cars due to alcohol than has ever died on an overdose of marijuana. It helps with cancer patients. It helps with a wide variety of illnesses beyond people with cataracts, people that have actual kidney stones. It works with people as far as making a replacement for paper, for clothes, for jewelry, for rope. Even our forefathers grew it. They grew hemp. Do you really think that they grew it simply for the rope? Of course not. Let's not be ridiculous. But if these laws are not changed, if we do not unite as a society and actually bring forth change, true change within the laws, and not with just within our country, but worldwide, it will continue to be a criminal activity by which people will use guns, force, and other means to justify violence against society. For it is no longer as it once was, where it was just about the love and the hippies and simply a good time. Now it has become a true criminal element, a true way of life, where when one calls themselves a thug, they actually mean that they are reticently available to violence because they want to protect what is theirs. 
This, in and of itself, should frighten you to know that our history is set by simply a ways and means to reestablish prohibition. 